Hello guys! Okay, so today I will discuss the good news about 5-1 Talk. I was shocked when I saw this one. <coughs> alright, alright, alright. Usually kasi, hindi ako nag-check dun sa lower part no uh, lesson fee summary natin. Uh, I usually check yung total amount. So, I was shocked when I scrolled down and nakita ko ito. So, nung in-scroll down ko siya, eto may nakita ako nakalagay na mission, mission incentives for 2020 March 16 at 8 o'clock in the evening na 3 pesos. And then, may nakita rin akong first favor incentives uh, student number 2377054 for another 3 pesos. So, for the total, I have 45 pesos from March uh, 16 up to March 31. So, meron akong additional 45 pesos added on top of my uh, lesson fee summary. So, nagtaka ako bakit. So, tinanong ko yung support. And, uh, ayan, I got the answer. At, ang sabi niya, ito, uh, teacher, please be guided that, that, that the completed missions are the missions that have a good feedback and you will get 3 pesos incentive for it. Same sa, same sa the first favorite incentive. These are the students who favorited you for the first time. So, it's a good news because it's extra money. Uh, meron tayong makikita dito sa under ng home. So, makikita nyo yung uh, total mission. Ayan. Uh, in this cut-off from March 16 to up to today, March 31, I have total missions of 13. And I, on, I already completed uh, 12 missions. So, uh, yung 12 missions na yun, it means uh, yung student mo, nagbigay ng good feedback sa'yo. So, and then I don't have failed mission. Tapos, meron akong isang pending mission na uh, I'm still waiting for the feedback from the student. So, ayun siya. So, you dun galing yung uh, mission incentive. Tapos, yung isa naman na incentive is yung dun daw sa favorite. So, Actually, before pa, meron akong mga favorites eh. Eight, uh, ngayon, tumaas ng 81. Pero before, kapag ka merong dumadagdag na favorite sa akin, wala akong incentive. Kaya, nagtaka ako ngayon. I have additional 3 pesos incentive sa mga new students na, na, na tinag ako as their favorite teacher. So, punta naman tayo ngayon sa negative side. Ito yung negative uh, feedback. I don't know this March 12, pero wala akong absent that time. Ewan ko bakit may absent ako dyan. Alam ko late ako nyan, pero I still did the class, tapos wala akong uh, penalty that time. And then March 29, uh, two days ago, uh, actually nag-open ako ng class. Pero, chinek ko siya before 10 o'clock. Wala akong class. Walang nag-book na class. And then, all of the sudden, uh, around 10.15, nag, uh, nag-check ulit ako. May open class ako. Tapos, nakalagay na is, teacher is absent. So, hindi ko na siya mahabol. Kasi, it's already 10.15. So, nung nag, na, na-open ko na yung platform ni 5.1 Talk, it's already 10.20. So, it's too late na para habulin yung class. Kaya, na mark ako as absent. Ayan, I'll show it to you. Dun sa summary ko. So, actually, ayan, may kita nyo. Ayan, may kita nyo. Absent ko is March 29 from 10 to 10.30 under the student uh, named Jake. And I was absent and I was charged for 140 pesos and it was <clears throat> Sunday so nakapag penalty ako ng 140 deducted doon sa lesson fee total ko 
So, two classes din yun. Sayang, ba diba? Tapos, uh, kung yan is, uh, nakanda ko yung lesson. It's uh, also 73 pesos, additional 73. So, in total, 140 plus 73. So, 213 pesos ang nawala sa akin. Ang negative side lang sa 5-1 talk is hindi sila nagno-notify ng teachers kung merong mga uh, booking classes. Example, right now, meron tayong facial recognition na lately lang pina-implement ni 5-1 talk. So, kapag uh, yung lightning ng camera mo or you are not wearing appropriate uh, uh, clothes, magno-notify sila through text messages regarding that matter. Pero kapag ka may mga bookings ka na klase, hindi sila nagbibigay ng notification. Katulad na nangyari sa akin, I opened those classes a night in advance. And then the following day, early in the morning, I checked the the platform. Pero wala akong book classes. Ang first class ko is 11 o'clock in the morning. So, nag-check ako before 10 o'clock, wala pa rin siyang booking. And then, around 10.15, nag-check ulit ako, I got a book class and I already marked as absent sa first class ko. So, I got two classes na open na hindi ko alam, which is 10 to 10.30 and then 10.30 to 11. So, yun yung hindi maganda sa 5-1 talk. Kapag ka may mga on-the-spot bookings, hindi sila nagno-notify sa'yo on text messages. And then, isa pa is kapag ka-absent ka, ang laki ng penalty, 140 pesos per class. Sa part ko, as a junior teacher, my rate during the weekdays is 63 pesos per class for 25 minutes. And during the weekends, it's 73 pesos per 25 minutes. But, but, take note, kapag absent ka, 140 ang penalty, which is equivalent of more than two classes. So, ganun kalaki yung penalty kapag ka-absent ka. At kapag ka late ka naman, ito pa yung isa sa hindi uh, maganda sa 5-1 talk. Kapag si student ang late, you have to wait for 15 minutes on the platform bago mo i-close yung classroom and mark the student's absent. Pero, in teacher part, at kapag si teacher naman ang late ng 4 minutes or more, automatic absent ka na. So, much better kapag gano'n na nangyari, no need to conduct the class. Kasi, it's useless eh. Magkakanda uh, ka ng class, automatic may penalty ka rin, hindi ka rin nila babayaran. So, yun yung hindi maganda sa 5-1 talk. At saka, meron pa silang ginagawa na kapag ka nakadalawang absent ka sa isang buwan, ilalak nila yung page mo. Katulad dong sa akin, actually, isa lang yung absent ko, pero nakalagay dun is two absent ako sa isang buwan. So, March 12 and March 29. So, nung mag-open na ako ng class, additional classes, kasi naka 100 something classes na ako, and then I want to open more. So, nag-over ako dun sa 55 big slots nila. Uh, na-avail ko yun. So, pwede ako mag-open ng additional every day. Hindi na ako maka-open. So, first time na nangyari sa akin yun. So, uh, what I did is, I contacted the support and I find out na my page was locked. So, punta tayo sa my contact log. So, kailangan natin pumunta dito sa website na to. Okay? So, i-copy natin. And then, ipakan natin yung website na yun. Ayan. Actually, nagawa ko na ito kahapon. So, I'm just waiting for 24 to 48 hours sa uh, result. So, meron dito ang request for my page unlocking. So, i-watch mo tong video nila kung paano. Ayan. And then, af after mo nyan... Example, natapos mo na tong video na to. I-explain lang nila dyan kung ano yung magkano yung penalty mo kapag ka, uh, umabsent ka. Ayan. So, i-click mo yung next. Tapos, may lalabas na form. Ito. You have to complete the form. Yung teacher's name, ilalagay mo dyan. So, it's not your real name, but your teacher's name in the 5 talk platform. All you have to do is fill out the form and then you have to put a Gmail account, not Yahoo, not any other email, just Gmail and then 
submit your form. You have to say the reason why you were absent during that time. And then you have to wait 24 to 48 hours uh, to unlock your page. And you can continue open uh, classes again. So I hope this video will help you guys and be aware of our time and our classes. So right now, I learned my lesson. From now on, I will going to open classes after there is already a book classes. Hindi ko na hindi na ako mag-open ng klase ng advance doon sa mga nakabook na kasi uh, mahirap nang ma-penalty ma at mag magmark na absent. At least kung mag-open ako ng classes after na may mga bookings na ako, at least ma-monitor ko na may uh, emergency na nag-book ng klase ko after my first class. So, ganun na lang yung gagawin ko. So, I hope this video will help you and happy teaching everyone. Goodbye!